Today I'm getting fit and I'm using my iPad to help me do it walk on my treadmill. Brought to you by JustStand.org. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at apps to keep your iPad up play. Today we're going to take a look at some apps that you can use when you're in the gym, when you're on a treadmill like I am, or uh, when you're just walking around you want some motivation or just loafing around if you just want to see the scenery. First of all, I want to let you know, Twitter handle is iPad365. You can go over there or you can email me at show at iPad-365.com if you've got an app that you want to talk about. All right, well, as you can see, I'm working on my treadmill here. And in fact, uh, for the month of May, I've been doing what's called 10,000 steps. What I've been trying to do is work out 10,000 steps in my routine every single day. So by the end of the month, I'll have 300,000 steps. Normally, I've been walking outside, but you know, I do have my treadmill here just in case it's raining and a cold. And I, I was pretty lucky to actually get this treadmill. I got this off of a barter. I normally wouldn't have something like this in, in my house, but I'm glad I do have it because I can work out and I can get these steps in. Now, I'm gone over 10,000 steps already today, so a little bit winded on this, but I wanted to show you a couple apps. If you do have to be on a treadmill to kind of get you motivated so you can go from there. First of all, we're gonna take a look at this app called Virtual Active. This is just basically giving you a scene so you can run or walk to. Like for instance, the free scene is the sample run. Yeah, there we go. With a sample run, I can uh, run out of the canyon or in different areas. I can choose a five minute, I can choose up to uh, an hour. So about 55 minute walk. We'll do a five minute walk since I'm not gonna be walking too long on here. Hit the play button. And as you can see, I'm walking. I can say if I'm on a bike, if I'm on a treadmill, if I'm on an elliptical, I'll say treadmill. And then I'll put the iPad on the machine and it's going to use the camera to see me and see how I'm walking. So the slower I walk, the slower it goes. The faster I walk, the faster it goes. So like if I am, let's go up to three miles an hour. It's going to be responsive of the face. In fact, if I do that, it should probably slow down. It's going to be responsive of the face and actually give me a trail to walk. As I slow down, let's go back down to two miles an hour. It's going to see that I'm slowing down and therefore it will slow down with it. And of course, you've got uh, you get more than just the, the video. You'll also get some information about what you're walking. In this case, we're walking the Grand Canyon here. It looks like a pretty brisk walk, so I'm enjoying this. And of course, this gets me a focus because when I walk outside, more of the senses to, to go. And of course, I have my goal, which is to get back to my house. Whereas with a treadmill, I just, boom, I'm in my house. So with that, we walk the trail and we can actually have something with a little bit more scenery so we can feel like we're actually accomplishing a task like walking the Grand Canyon, which I know I've never done before so interesting stuff we've got a few here we'll quit this one there's other types of runs not all of them are free you gotta pay for some of them like the American Northeast that's a $7.99 there are some in-app purchases but if you need more motivation to run or walk check this out this is called virtual active there are a few other apps out there that you can get to get into walking or running on your treadmill and it's absolutely this one's absolutely free in the App Store Do you have what's called sitting disease? Do you sit more than eight to nine hours in a day? You get in your car, you sit down, you drive to work, you get to work, you sit down at your desk for eight, nine hours. Then you get in your car, you sit and you go home and then you sit on your couch and that's the end of your day until you lie in your bed. It's not good for you to sit so much. You need to stand every now and then. That's why the folks over at juststand.org want you to take a look at some of these desks and learn a little bit about the benefits of standing. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is one of the desks that they have. Let me raise it here 
You can raise it up as high as this, so you can work like this. You can raise it down to a level where you can get onto a chair and sit down and actually work from there. They have some great ergonomic tables and keyboard trays and even monitors like this monitor right here, which I can move around, bring it to me so I can see the screen. I can bring it to you so you see iPad 365, or I can bring it around and use this wireless cam to do a well, chat or maybe uh, do a hangout or do geek smack and a lot more. You can do a lot with one of these desks, these workflow desks. Of course, I also have the mat to keep my feet nice and comfy as I'm standing. Standing or sitting, you're getting blood flow, you're helping your body process. Because when you sit down, you can lose blood pressure. When you sit down, your blood does not go through your body as fast as if you're standing. So check it out, juststand.org, and you can find out some of these great desks and even TVs for you gamers out there so you can get the TV to your level so when you're using your Kinect or your Wii Fit you have the TV right in front of you instead of having the TV too high or too low. So check it out over at juststand.org. I love this desk and I know that it's going to make me get fit and feel a lot better in the weeks to come for my May 10,000 steps. So we talked about an app like uh, Virtual Active here. We can do some other things. Now I'm at my home treadmill, so I got my TV right here. So I could pretty much turn on any channel I wanted to and watch the news, watch a show, hook up to my Roku, hook up to my Apple TV box, and then watch something from there. But I can also watch from my iPad. And if I was in a gym, I could use the iPad if I've got an internet connection to watch TV shows. NBC, CBS, ABC all have apps that you can use to watch uh, full shows on your iPad. There's the NBC app right there. Of course, we got the CBS app and the ABC player. All of them will have recent episodes and uh, will be able to give you a lot of good content. Now, it's also the same content you'll find on Hulu Plus. You can also get Netflix on here as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection or an internet connection that you can pull from. You should be able to get many different shows from here. I find it a little bit tough to actually use the iPad while I'm using the treadmill, you know, because you're, you're trying to touch somewhere and, and you're moving, you're jostling around a little bit. So um, I don't do too much interactivity with my iPad, but I will, I will call up a web page or something like that every now and then, you know, check out my Facebook. One more thing that I want to show you, though, use this little device while I'm walking. It's called the Fitbug, and I got it at CES. And basically, it's a pedometer, just like any other pedometer, except it Bluetooth connects into your phone or your device. I mean, you could put it on your iPad, but I do have it on my iPhone, so I bring it up and I bring up the Fitbug, and it tells me how many steps on it. Now, the best part about this is I can keep this on my belt pack and all I have to do is press a button the center button right here and it'll Bluetooth connect up to the phone and tell me how many steps that I've done right now I'm at 10,010 ,010 steps with 9,834 of them being aerobic I've gone 3.78 miles and I've burnt about 570 calories that's pretty good so I've got an idea of what I'm doing and how many steps I'm taking because for the month of May I'm going to be doing 10,000 steps a day for all of May. So, and I'll keep you updated. You can check out my Facebook. You can check out my Twitter page over at uh, Geekazine and uh, you'll see how my progress goes from there. All right, so those are the apps for your treadmill. You've got a lot more apps out there. Check it out over in the App Store. What apps do you use? Let me know. You can Twitter me over at iPad365 or you can email me at show at iPad365.com. I'm done with the treadmill today, but I will be doing 10,000 steps. You can join me. Just look at Twitter. Uh, look for the hashtag 10,000 steps, 10000 steps, and you'll find me. Otherwise, you can Twitter me at iPad365 and say, hey, where's that 10,000 steps thing? So, My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Geek out.